Davey Fire, if it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire episode 348, I believe. I did a tweet that Treyway sent me that it said, resisting pizza too often is one of the hardest things in the American diet. And I said, what do y'all think? And I would say, now first off, I posted this. <laughs> I posted this tweet with my fucking address on the side of the box. And someone told me and I took it down immediately and reposted. I'm a fucking idiot. So that was awesome. I had Rachel's phone number in my address. <laughs> the only people who see this is on the on the blog. So anyway, I took it down immediately. But all right. So I think the thing, uh, so that was a fuck up. Um about this is pizza has just an unbelievable vortex of fuckery in it, okay? It's got bread, it's got cheese, it's got tomatoes, it's got fats with pepperoni, it's got all of this stuff. Not to mention, you have to understand this, if you eat healthy, when you eat pizza, you're going to retain water. That's part of the reason why we eat it before we go do powerlifting meats, okay? So it's partly mental. So let's say, I'm just giving you an example. I eat awesome for two weeks. I've lost seven pounds, just making up a number. Then I eat five slices of pizza because no one eats one, especially the kind, the deep dish kind I like, you probably will retain six pounds of water. So you're going to think, oh my gosh, I gained all my weight back. That's actually not true. But my point of saying this is, is because it's a mental fuck. It has nothing to body wise. Two or three days later, you go back on your diet. You'll be back to the weight you were. But what it does is it fucks with your mind. It crazy fucks with your insulin and unless you're glycogen, meaning you're like a pretty depleted person because you've been training so hard, it's probably not going to impact you in a positive way. So do I think you should eat pizza on a regular basis? No. Do I think you can still eat pizza? Yes. And I'll give you an idea like I fucking love pizza. Like it's one of my favorite things to eat. But even at the level that I'm at, I know it kind of fucks with me. So one of my goals was if I hit 175, I would eat pizza, but I only made it to 178. So I ain't ate it yet. Now, when I was looking at that box that sat on my fucking table for like two days, by the way, I kept walking by and going, and it was the pizza with the pineapple on it. I love that kind. <laughs> Shout out to the fucking pineapple pizza, Hawaiian. It's amazing. So the reality is I think it's cool to have like a mini reward system. That's kind of what I'm getting at is that. Moderation with pizza, so whether it's one slice, five slices, you got to find your moderation. The other thing is, is just know if it is a shit show and you go to a party and that ends up happening, that that water weight that there that's there the next day is not real. It will go off, but I would just try to avoid it until you get to a certain point where you believe metabolically you are fast enough and mentally you understand what it's going to do. And the flip side is that cheat with the sugar stuff. It kind of runs through you a lot faster. It doesn't have the same type of impact on your weight. And that's why I teach people in anabolic fasting to use ice cream over bread, sugar over breads. It's because of the mental and the physical component. So just think about when you're going to do that, I would pick one over the other. But when you do pick the other, you just know that that's what it is. So this Daily Fire is really more about choices, really about more about impact mentally and physically on your cheats. Um, it's probably mostly just for the website, I would say. But it's one of those things where I want to make sure that you guys are thinking about it.